Welcome to the channel everyone. Let's get through some videos. What's a conspiracy theory that you a thousand percent believe in? So every year allergy season rolls around and more and more people are starting to learn about botanical sexism, which is basically that city planners, who are mostly male, decided that female trees are too messy. And so they planted overwhelmingly male trees that release pollen, but not enough female trees to absorb the pollen. So we have more pollen floating around in the air than ever, which leads to increased allergies. But what everyone somehow forgets to add is that the reason female trees are messy is because they produce fruit. And I high key believe that botanical sexism is driven by capitalism and making sure that people who live in urban areas don't have access to fresh fruits and vegetables that aren't provided by corporations. Scary as We now know that this is not just about the money anymore. And I think it's more about control. You can't even plant your own food anymore. And if they can control your food source, they can definitely control you. Conspiracy theories in the world that will seriously change your life. This shows a list of all the conspiracy theories in the world from the top, the most well known, to the bottom, the darkest of the dark that will change your life. And welcome back guys, of course, as you know by now in this series we're going from the top to the bottom, so I don't even know what part this is, but let's go. I don't like this one. I don't like it. This is solipsism. Genuinely, if you suffer from paranoia or anxiety or anything like that, just don't watch this like I actually mean it this time. Right, so you are the only real person. Everyone around you is literally an NPC, so am I. Wait, what? This is what solipsism is, just have a little read. I believe that only one's mind is actually sure to exist, which is true. The scary thing about this is there is no, no way to prove or disprove this, ever, ever, ever. So everything around you is fake, everybody around you is fake, only you are real. When you look at things, when you turn around, things just spawn in. But you are completely alone in this place, and everybody is just your brain's way of making you not feel so alone. Boom. Mind, mind blown. See you in the next one. So if you remember the Matrix movie, the first one, when Neo woke up from the pod, it somehow is connected to this conspiracy theory that if you are the only one connected to that pod, that means you're the only person that exists in that reality. And the other people connected to the other pods are the same thing. They are the only person connected to that reality. But I think it's a theory. And like what he said, it's not really something that you can prove or disprove. Which means it's a good mental exercise. And that's basically it. Here's some conspiracy theories that I think have passed the level of theory and are true. Women's clothing is designed with little to no pockets for the sole purpose of selling more purses. High-end art is just a scheme to launder money and avoid taxes. Like this one here sold for $43 million. This one sold for $46 million. This one was $84 million. Someone actually paid $87 million for this. This has got to contribute to inflation in some way. Leaks that happen in the entertainment industry, like with movies, TV shows, video games, are done on purpose to gauge interest and get opinions before an official announcement. That little bit of dust that comes off the end of tissues when you pull them out of the box is specifically designed to get you to sneeze, that way you need more tissues. The government orchestrates their own conspiracy theories to get us distracted from actual problems. Did you ever- Think about this. The same company who sells women's clothing are the same company who sells the purses. And about the money laundering, I think that's, uh, that's actually a, a, a great idea if you think about it. I mean, if I were that rich, not that I will or that I am, but one way I could avoid taxes and I can launder money is to hire a struggling artist, tell them to paint anything, and then buy that painting for more than it's actually worth. And it doesn't just go for paintings. I've heard this theory about the mattresses or the car washes. I mean, if you're that rich, you can just start your own little, let's say, smaller company or store and 
from that alone you can find a way to make sure you have clean money hear about the grand canyon theory no so the grand canyon okay one of the world's wonders there's a theory that the grand canyon holds something that none of us knew was there so back in the 1850s right yeah. the grand canyon was used to mine gold when people started mining it the gold index crashed because they found so much gold there okay. now what happened was the government and the military, they closed it off and they made it a sanctuary so that nobody can just go there and then take whatever they want. There was this one guy, his name was Seth Tanner, okay. and he was an explorer. He explored this one cave and he claims what he saw yeah. was ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics in one of the caves. Oh, what did it say? The Grand Canyon, it actually holds the lost city of El Dorado. What? Like, the you know, the, the lost gold city of El Dorado. Yeah, the whole city. The man. whole city. So if you think about it, it's never found. That, that ancient tale that all of the natives talk about, yeah. the lost city, and the reason the government and the world is trying to keep it a secret yeah. is because it would crash the gold price. Oftentimes, when we hear a conspiracy theory, we attach it to a single theory alone. In my opinion, I think there's layers and levels to it. Layers to it. Like, this could also be connected to the mud flood. Like, um, if you research the mud flood, it will also lead you into the melted buildings theory. And it's possible that if the Grand Canyon really is El Dorado, it's melted now. It could also be connected to the um, Great Flood. I mean, if you look at it, it could be a body of water before, like a river of some sort that just dried out. And I saw a few videos that shown doors on the side of the mountains so uh, as we all know there are parts of the grand canyon that's inaccessible to uh, the public and i think there's a good reason for that all right someone explain this to me you see these two rainbows here all right which are coming from the reflection of this corner and this corner of the glass just like this one is here as well coming from that corner, as well as this one coming from that corner. So when we see a rainbow outside in the sky, shaped like this, where is that coming from? The only explanation would be if we were to have some form of rounded glass structure above us. If you've never heard of the firmament, Look up the firmament and research and educate yourself. I'm not saying the earth is flat, but it's not a globe. Well, when you, when you search for what, uh, what causes rainbows to appear, Oftentimes, well, actually what you will see is scientists explaining that um, it's because of light refracting and all that. But it's not about how, how the rainbows are created, basically, by nature, but it's the shape. If you can recreate rainbows uh, using uh, a glass like what we just saw, you can see that it, it, it has the same shape of the glass, which means if we see rainbows that curve, what gives off that shape? And it's true that uh, the earth may not be flat. I truly believe that because I don't think anyone has ever uh, came out who has ever gone out of the firmament. So I can't say for sure that the earth is truly flat because I don't think anyone can go outside the firmament. 
but what I know is it's not a globe spinning and that it's it's not it just simply isn't You need to hear this crazy conspiracy about iPhones. Have you ever thought about why an iPhone has its name? Some people think when Apple says I, it literally means I. iPhones are watching us, listening to us, and seeing everything we're doing. And some people have this link to the Illuminati. Don't believe me? What Siri spelled backwards. It's Irish, by the way. And Eiffel doesn't necessarily mean I, like me or you. It could also mean I, phone. Because they're watching you. The Earth might be bigger than we thought. For years, people have debated over the shape of the Earth, if it is round or flat. Now, this might just all be a conspiracy. But what if the Earth had more than just seven continents? In Antarctica, it was just a giant ice wall that kept us from seeing the rest of the continents. What if once you made it past the ice wall, you'll find the 20 continents that are really being hidden from us? And what if there was a map that showed this? There are theories that these continents contain prehistoric animals, aliens, and advanced civilizations, and that the seven continents that we are living in is actually a giant farm or business owned by a small handful of families that make up the filthy rich in the real world, or in the other continents that we don't know about. The Vatican is likely the- Here's the thing. This is the time of disclosure and I think a lot of people are now realizing that we are being controlled one way or another and there's even a theory that there are only 13 families controlling billions of people. The question is, now that you know, collectively I mean, what are you going to do about it? The most corrupt institution in our world. The Vatican is no stranger to murder, child trafficking, drug trafficking, sex exploitation, and cover-ups. Arguably one of the most famous basilicas in the world, underneath it lies a mass graveyard. So located about five stories beneath the basilica is actually another temple dating back to the Roman Empire. That's over 2,000 years of dead bodies. If you're wondering if those bodies are of Christians or Catholics, they're not. It was actually used for pagans. And here are some of the mosaic tiles that they found beneath the Vatican in the temple that it's built on top of. So here's a quote from one of the popes. I believe that the church not only should apologize to the person who is gay, whom it has offended, but it has to apologize to the poor, to the exploited women, to children exploited for labor. It has to ask forgiveness for having blessed many weapons. That's a little ironic considering what the Vatican has done to make sure that it's always protected and people never expose them. This is Pope John Paul I, and he died 33 days after his election. Now, the conspiracy around his death is that he found out the Vatican was laundering mass amounts of money, and he was going to rectify the situation of getting rid of everybody in the Vatican that was corrupt. His plans were announced straight after he became the Pope, and he died 33 days later. In 2015, it was uncovered that two cases of child were found within the Vatican walls. And get this, not everybody involved was named. Only a couple names took the blow for everybody else in the Vatican. And then the year before that, the government actually intercepted three deliveries directed to the Vatican, all containing drugs. Cocaine was found in condoms inside of these three deliveries that were intercepted. They were handed over to the Vatican in hopes that somebody within the walls would disclose who this was going to, but nobody came forward. This is St. Peter's obelisk, and not a lot of people know where it comes from. One of Rome's cruelest emperors, Caligula, actually stole this from one of Egypt's cities, Heliopolis stole it from Egypt and he transported it to Rome and you know what he did with it? It was used to murder and execute Christians. They would round up every single Christian that they could find, 
chain them, bound them, bring them to the obelisk, and brutally murder them. Vatican books is called The Grand Grimoire or The Red and this book is about black magic. It harnesses spells and rituals, but many believe this is the book that they use to summon the devil when they are selling their souls. Kind of like the book of the Illuminati. The conspiracies of the Vatican can go on and on and on. It's truly a never-ending cycle. One thing we do know, the people in the Vatican are evil and corrupt. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Have you heard about this paranormal island in Argentina? No, no. Never? Why? So there is this swamp located in Argentina that has this eye-shaped island inside of it called El Ojo. Huh? After the discovery of the weird-shaped island by horror filmmaker Sergio Noispiller in 2016, researchers went through the historical imagery of El Ojo on Google Earth and found out they could watch the island move inside the swamp and has been here and moving for over 20 years. God damn. The whole island is incredibly solid, unlike the land surrounding it. And the water around the island is super clear and cold, which is really strange considering the climate that it is located in. There are many theories about how the perfect floating island came into being, with the most known one being the island's involvement with UFO activity. To try and solve these conspiracies, Sergio and another researcher went to discover the island in person. And what they discovered, they couldn't believe. It looks for real that someone is cutting it. There are bubbles coming from the bottom. Newspiller and his partner luckily brought an underwater camera to finally discover the truth about these mysterious activities inside the lake. If you want to see the underwater video, you got to click on this icon, then more, and then on YouTube. What do Give it the chance, I'd go there too. I'd like to know what's underneath, wouldn't you? Did Will Smith really mean to tell us? Yo, we out here on vacation in the Bahamas, another beautiful day. Check it out, check it out. Boom. I want to talk to y'all for a minute about the power of perception. You see, there's a lot that goes in to being a hot social media content provider. For instance, y'all think I got time to go on vacation? No. I got social to do. Come on, man, this is blue screen. In fact, I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all. I haven't looked like this good in years. I've been totally computer generated since like the 90s. You know what? This ain't even real blue screen. It's 2019, y'all. Nothing's real. <laughs> What did Will Smith really mean to tell us? Truth in plain sight. And that's the video for today. I hope you liked it. And please be nice. This is the first video I ever made. And I'm really excited doing this and doing more. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you soon. Thanks again. Bye for now.